It's not hers. So, I take love very seriously. I, I think that I find love so seriously because I love so deep. I care so deep. Like, deeply. I, when I come in contact with someone, I sort of attach them onto me. Every person that I have come in contact with and loved and cared about, I've attached them to my heart. They are adhered there. They are fused. They are permanently there. They help the blood flow. And I think that's why when they leave or they hurt me, it hurts so much. Because it shatters my heart. Because the blood flow is all messed up and it just hurts. And then it hurts everywhere. And I think that's why over the years I've become numb to it. Even though I know deep down that it hurts so bad, I don't let myself feel it anymore. Because I've been hurt by so many people that I have loved and cared about. That it just... I know my blood is being disrupted. It's not pumping properly. I know it hurts. But I can't feel the pain like I used to. Like I used to... Like... I've been around a lot of death in my life, and loss in general, and every single time that I have lost someone, by death or worse, I mean, not worse, but if someone has just left, or if they have died, it, it hurts, and I cry for those people every night. Especially, like, my grandma. I miss her so much. And there comes a point in my day when I feel alone. And I'll just cry. Everything will flow in because I haven't let myself feel it. And I'll just cry and I'll crash on the ground. And at that point, I'm, like, all alone, especially, like, in my dorm room. I'll be here doing homework and my dorm mate will be out with her friends cruising in her car or whatever, I don't know. And I'm here doing my homework, watching Netflix, and crying. I don't... I don't really know. You know? I don't know why I feel so deeply for people, even if they Breaking, even if they've broken my heart many times. Like my two best friends, one that I have loved for 14 years and one that I have loved for three years, they have both broken my heart on many occasions. It makes me think of that saying, you fooled me once, shame on you. You fooled me twice, shame on me. But what about a third time, or a fourth, or a tenth, or a fiftieth, or a one hundredth time? I've had my heart broken so many times that I don't know if it's my fault or their fault or both of our faults. Maybe it's my fault because I'm stupid. I kind of let people break my heart. I let myself fuse them onto my heart. So that way when they leave, it's more difficult. I don't know. I don't really know what is wrong with me. Or maybe if there's even anything wrong with me. Because I, I find love important. I find caring for people and not hurting people important. And it's all you can ever ask for. <laughs> In Grey's Anatomy, I was just watching something that really, like, clicked with me. To fall in love with someone who loves you more than you love them. And honestly, I find that hard since I love so deeply. 
I don't think anyone will love me more than I love them. I would do anything for anyone. Save their life. Give them a kidney. <laughs> I love people. I love things. I think it's the very thought of love and the very feeling of love that actually breaks my heart and not people leaving. Because I know that in the end everyone leaves. Whether it be by death or just moving on with their lives. Everyone moves on. I don't really know. It's just what I was thinking about. I was washing my hair and I was straightening my hair. I was watching Netflix and doing my homework. I just keep thinking about it. I just keep thinking, am I to blame or is it the people that I let in my life? I don't know. What do you think, Smexy Suckers? Put in the comments down below. <laughs> um, all my links are in the description down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and uh, subscribe down below. Ooh, ooh. Um, yeah, hit that notification bell so that way you, once you have subscribed, you can get uh, notifications when I post. I don't post that often, but when I do, it's usually on either a weekend or a Friday. Um, but yeah. I'm sorry if I'm not, um, consistent, but I'm now a college student, so I don't know if it'll be easier for me to post or harder, but don't expect my videos to be edited. I love you, Smexy Suckers, so much. Peace out. Bye!